Narcissists are jealous and envious. Jealousy is a common emotion and most of us could have been jealous at one point or another in our lives. Something you wish you had, a place someone visited that you'd like to go to. In fact, something like that, healthy people will say, I'm so jealous, I'd love to visit there or I'd love to have that. Normal human behaviour. Jealousy means the feeling of resentment towards another's achievements or possessions, showing a feeling of resentment that a partner could be attracted or involved with someone new, and protective of our own possessions or rights. Resentment is usually a feeling of a bitterness towards another person. Envy, a feeling of discontentment or someone else's Look, qualities or possessions, a desire to have what someone else has. Sometimes low self-esteem can cause this. Um, to healthy people, jealousy, you just, you see that someone's got something and you would like it. With a narcissist, jealousy means to envy and to destroy. They have little to no self-esteem, therefore they are extremely jealous and envious of everything around them. Not that they'll show it to all those around them, usually just the ones that are closest to them. Narcissists believe that everyone around them has something that they don't and they want it. They can be jealous of their own children for a number of reasons. One of the main ones is if they are getting more attention than the narcissist is themselves. Often why when the children are doing something that they are successful at, uh, the narcissist will claim it's all down to them, them and their parenting. If that's the fact that they helped them achieve it or if it's the narcissist DNA, the narcissist will always try to turn the attention back onto themselves. Most people deal with their jealousy internally as they are embarrassed by it. A narcissist will tell those close to them with comments like they must have received an inheritance to afford that and... Things like, they only got that because someone gave them a hand. I've had to do everything for myself. And please note, just because some people say these things, if they do not have the other characteristics, they are not a narcissist. The narcissistic personality disorder is on a spectrum and they will have the characteristics, at least five of them, even if they don't show them all at the same time. Due to jealousy and envy, a narcissist will try to sabotage anything and everyone around them. A narcissist believes everything is a competition that they need to win. They think it's unfair for others to have something that they don't. They don't believe others should be happy. Narcissists feel inadequate in most things that they do which is why they are jealous of other people's successes. A narcissistic person cannot sustain or really achieve their own self-worth. They have to get it from those around them. Their own reflective coping mechanism means they have to get these things from others to meet their own needs, either directly through attention or indirectly through creating contests that other people don't even know about so that the narcissist can win. This is to deal with their own inner shame and inner hatred, to bury it deep, hide it and pretend that all is okay. And they will deny those feelings often to their, to themselves and to those around them. If they don't win, they feel that self-hatred and they have to take action to cover up that self-hatred to make themselves feel better. This is why when they are jealous of sympathy or attention that another person is getting, they will create the mass smear campaign. Narcissists use the smear campaign to destroy others so that people don't help the person that's that's in need of the help 
the narcissist is jealous of good people um, and they want to destroy good people. Now, good people, normal people, whatever normal is, we are all individuals, healthy people tell the truth to the relevant authorities to protect themselves and they often find it hard to do so. Good people chat to others for help and support, for clarity on things that have happened. Narcissistic people smear names to destroy other people. The narcissist smear campaign is mostly based on lies or twisted truths, twisted facts, twisted evidence. They usually the only evidence they have is when they provoke someone to get a reaction from them. And it's designed to ruin a person's name. So the attention is directed on to the narcissist and they get all the support. They may steal, ruin or destroy others' possessions. They will try to control those around them with finances. Um, they will try to control those um, who in their minds they believe are working against them by threatening them. By simply not having the same, if someone's just not got the same opinions and not putting the narcissist first in everything they do, they will attempt to destroy people and items that they are jealous of. While these are harmful to those around them, is the narcissist telling themselves that they are not good enough, that they are not complete, that they cannot win so they set out to destroy other people so that they can win thus making themselves feel better instead of coping with their inner insecurities and feelings and mistakes they've made we're all human we all make mistakes they project them onto others and this is their coping mechanism making it someone else's problem someone else's fault when they feel jealous and envious it triggers that feeling of shame which results in their rage when they feel jealous or envious they will create a defensive scenario in their own heads to deflect this onto other people by blaming them of being jealous or envious of the narcissist again they will twist it around with some narcissistic people it is rather pitiful to see with others it is scary it is on a disorder so please be careful with what kind you are dealing with the lies they tell about you which is most often actually the things that they did to you or they miss out the part that they played and the smear campaign often isn't actually about you in the first place. It's all to validate themselves at the expense of other people. You cannot help a narcissist by trying to prove they are wrong. The internal makeup in the narcissist has been in them for a long time often from childhood if you're dealing with a narcissistic psychopath they were most likely born that way a narcissist or a narcissistic sociopath are usually created through life at some point it's nothing you have done there is nothing you can do they are not someone who can be fixed with reassurance with help with support um there's nothing you can do to help them you did not cause it <laughs> excuse me and you cannot change it most often when you try to help they will just twist it all around back onto you again to validate themselves that they are not the problem they've not made a mistake and even when it makes no sense to you at all they will still keep twisting it onto you there is no point in defending yourself to them about motives or um, intentions that you do or do not have they are not listening to what your intentions are they are not listening to what your motives are they are just not interested you will never be able to prove something to a narcissist because they are unable or and they are unwilling to listen or to believe it now, as we can all feel jealous, we can all feel envy, um, 
It is a normal human emotion. Most people don't want to go around destroying people when they feel that emotion. But you can actually use those emotions to work for you. One of the best things for the emotion of jealousy is self-improvement. Something that a narcissist cannot do for themselves as they do not see themselves as the problem. When it comes to us, we've most likely felt jealousy or envy at some point within our lives, yet usually we can be pleased for the other party and we can try and achieve something for ourselves. So if someone's got a new car, you can think, oh, wow, I'd like that car, but you can be pleased for them that they've worked hard and achieved that car. Um, so when you're feeling those feelings of jealousy, it's a good sign that that is something that you would like to create in your life. And you can find ways then to create it for yourself, which a narcissist will not do. They have to take from others rather than achieving for themselves. There is some on the high end of the spectrum that have achieved success, but they've usually destroyed people along the way. They want the biggest and the best of everything, and they do it by taking down everyone else. Whereas good people stay in their own lane, create their own life, create the biggest and best for themselves. We are only ever in competition with ourselves. Being around narcissistic people, their negative negativity can rub off onto you negativity breeds negativity and when they promise you the world and never deliver then when they when they are doing everything they promise to you with a new partner with your sibling with your co-worker this can actually trigger jealousy within anyone and with how the narcissist manipulates others it is a painful experience. You cannot control the feelings of jealousy and envy when they come in and you can you can they appear and you do have to deal with them. You can use them to work for you. You can be pleased for the other person even if they are a narcissist and I know that's extremely difficult with some of the things that they have put you through. But if, if they're off with a new partner, be grateful that you are out of the situation. I know it's difficult because you tend to feel for the new partner the same as when it's your sibling. You want to help and support your sibling. And it is a difficult place to be. But you have to focus on the fact that you are out of it and just be there for the other person when they do get out of it. Um. Now, like with your children, when your children achieve something, you feel proud of them. Um, you feel pleased for their own achievements and their own successes. You don't feel jealous of them as you love and care for them. Whereas a narcissist envies their own children and actually seeks to destroy their own children and hurt their own children. So when you feel any form of envy keeping it creeping in, use it to work for you. What is it that made you feel jealous? What is it that made you feel envious? What is it that you would like to achieve? What steps can you take to action to achieve it for yourself? Sometimes life can feel like it's happening to you. You can change this to make it happen for you. Life can be difficult and it can seem like one thing comes after another and no sooner have you done with one thing, another thing gets thrown in your way. Don't let others take advantage of your weakness. Use your weaknesses to grow you. It's not easy. It is possible. But when others can't take advantage of your weaknesses, life starts to happen for you. Use envy to recognize what you would like for you and go out there and achieve it for you. We are all people. We are all individuals. We are all worthy and we can all achieve whatever it is we want within our own lives for us and start making life work for us. 
Remember, with good intentions, there is no wrong way or no right way to live your life. There is only your way. I shall add some videos in the description on how to help with overcoming your own emotions cause, because and how it causes, um, how being around narcissistic people causes brain damage because you can heal this brain damage and part of it is to do with your emotions so I shall link both of those videos in the descriptions to give you more information there is also the online courses in the descriptions and where you can find me on other social media anything you'd like to add in the comments please do um I am catching up on the videos that people have asked for they will be on over the next couple of weeks Thank you very much for listening and I hope you all have a lovely day. If you are struggling at the moment, think of three things that you are grateful for right now. And I know it can be difficult, but find those th three things, focus on those three things and put that smile on your face and try and look for the how you can start making life work for you. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.